up guys, my name is John Bowman and welcome to the video. But right now I am training three times a week. I am doing two uh, weight room sessions and one throwing session. I have four components uh, when I build my uh, lifting program or lifting cycle. And so I guess uh, every session has those four things and the one is the warm up. Uh, one, the second one is my reha rehab training. Uh, my third one is the actual main lifts that I'm doing. And then the fourth thing would be uh, what cool down I'm doing. Now for me, the warm up, the rehab, and the cool down are essential. And, and it's not just warming up, it's actually the things I'm doing in there preserve my training, preserve my body, um, enable me to lift more and enable me to train more. So that's kind of what I want to show you. Um, so you can see here on, I have my weightlifting broken into two days, day one, day two, and the layout for both lifting sessions are the same. Uh, so you'll see that I have the uh, warm up, which the warm up is me. I, I mean, you could do anything that you wanted. I like to just walk. Um, I usually walk about 10 to 15 minutes and um, usually it's on a treadmill because I lift at a YMCA and um, I usually average about 3 to 3.1 miles per hour on the treadmill for that 10 to 15 minute range. Uh, for me, that's enough to get my blood going, to just start to feel a little bit of sweat and um, uh, that's really all, all I need. And then I go from the 10 to 15 minutes walking straight into my what I call a rehab routine. And, and essentially what that is, is um, I isolate a few exercises for my hips, uh, an exercise for my shoulders, uh, an exercise for my core, like my abs, and uh, then I do some foam rolling. And uh, those are like little mini workouts that are uh, lead up to my main lifting. What I found over over the last few years, because I've, I've done it this way for the last two years, is when I work hard on the warm-up and the rehab routine, like I'm talking be tired, be sweaty, uh, then my actual lifts, my main lifts are far more productive, I do more weight, and I would, I would think um, I am reducing my, in, my risk for injury. Um, and so for, the, I have four or sometimes five uh, hip leg exercises and each one is two sets of 25 so think about doing 25 reps of course that's uh, gonna be a lot lighter weight and um, I just focus on rhythm um, getting it done pretty quickly and then moving on to the next one so it's like I walk and then exercise 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 and then foam roll and all of that takes typically 25 to 30 minutes um, and all of these things that I'm talking about, my uh, rehab exercises are all machines. So it's just like, again, I'm at the YMCA, I go use the treadmill, I walk, I hop on, handful of machines. Again, I'm not like uh, getting crazy strong or doing a lot of weight. The whole point is to warm up the little muscles in my hips, the little muscles in my shoulders, get my core warmed up. Um, and uh, so that's really, really all that is. Um, then, uh, after the rehab training, which it's been about 30 minutes, 25, 30, 30 minutes, I go right into my lifting, my main lifting exercises. And right now, uh, for my current training, uh, my current season of life, um, I just do uh, the most basic and my favorite exercises. And so this is where every month the lifting exercises will change but what I'm always doing I'm always doing an upper body like pressing movement like a bench press I'm always doing a uh, lower body lift so um, uh, sometimes it's deadlift sometimes it's squats or or just whatever lower body exercise I need to do and then uh, I try to do an Olympic lift uh, one of those one of those days so for this you'll see on day one um, I'm doing dumbbell flies deadlift and reverse hypers so that's that's day one's lifts and then day two the lifting is flat bench 
hang cleans, and hyper extensions. And so you can see my main power lifts are four sets of six, my Olympic lifts are four sets of three, and my auxiliary lift, um, in this case, it's two sets of 12. And uh, this is coming off of last cycle, um, my power lifts were three by 10, my Olympic lift was three sets of five, um, and my auxiliaries were three by 10. And so when you're planning your training, um, you just need to have variety. Uh, the fourth part of my workout, it's always a cool down. Um, sometimes it's longer than others, but almost always it just involves stretching. So then I'm really attacking the, the same muscle groups that I worked on in my rehab training. Those are the same muscle grab groups that I am, I am stretching. And I usually do two sets of 30 seconds per, per stretch. And I'm targeting uh, my hip, my glutes, uh, my groin, my hamstrings, my traps, uh, that's, that's, that's what I'm doing. And, and I found this, this very simple lifting setup um, is sustainable It's for the long haul. You can do this month after month after month if you're changing your reps, changing your sets, and changing your exercises. It uh, keeps you fresh and healthy, especially if you work um, and you got to throw in your spare time or train on your spare time. This works, works perfect for that. Um, and so, hey, I um, that's just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of what my next cycle looks like. Um, and uh, that's that. Um. All right, guys, one more thing before the video ends. Uh, I just wanted you to know that I'm giving away three Fiber Sport discuses. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway for my email newsletter subscribers. Uh, the email newsletter is free. It's free to sign up. Um, but in order to have a chance to win the discus, you have to be a subscriber to the newsletter. So in order to do that, click the link in the description of this video. Then you will be able to sign up for my newsletter. Then I will send you the instructions on how to sign up to win a discus. So good luck and uh, I'll see you on the emails.